In this tutorial, we'll look at how to fix the mobile viewport height problem with CSS. All right, so I have a couple of solutions for you. So the first thing you want to try is this WebKit fill available uh, uh, prefix value for height. All right, so you can go into your CSS, select both your HTML and body if you haven't done that yet, and just set the height property to this value. And for a lot of people, this actually will already solve it. So just try it out and see if it works. If it doesn't work, you may want to try option two here. So you can also j try using the 100% value, but the thing is you need to try it for all um, elements in the chain, right? So the body is going to be 100%, but 100% of what exactly? Well, of its parent element. The parent element of the body is the HTML element. The HTML element is going to be 100% of what exactly? Well, the HTML has no parent element. This is the root element, so it's going to be the viewport, right? So you may have other elements. So then we can say, for example, if you have some kind of sticky footer scenario, you can say on the container, if you're using Flexbox, for example, you can make the container, the Flex container, a minimum height of 100%, which means 100% of its parent element, which could be the body element, for example. Right, so you need to make sure you have 100% throughout that entire chain of elements, right? Because percentage is always about the parent element. Okay, now if that doesn't work, you can also try it with JavaScript. Um, what you can set, what you can do is you can you can write a function here, set height, and this will just take the inner height of the window, right? It stores it in current height, and then we're just gonna force the body to be that height, right? So we say document body style height, and we set it to that current height, and then we append pixels. Right, because this will just give us a number, so you need to add pixels here. And then um, that's just a function right, specification, and we're going to run that function every time there is a resize event. So you're going to add that as an event listener here to the window object, and you can just pass that function as a reference. Now sometimes, um, or actually, um, when you first load the page, you also want to set that. So you can just call the function immediately as well, right, so before any resize event has taken place. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.